Are you done? I want to go back to Elmer and Gus. Um, I'm I'm completely done. What? Well, Elmer and Gus. A gay couple? Well, now uh, they're up to 59 years together. This is the update on Elmer and Gus. Leave gay to the young. And uh, one of them is 89 and one is uh, 80. 84. No, or 85 six. Now. 85 or 86. What yeah. were they hiding from back then, though? Like, no one knew anyone was gay back then. No one knew. Even, like, Rock Hudson went how many years before anyone even figured out he was gay? Right. Well, no one knows people are gay. They just think they're friends. If they've been together 59 years, that, that brings us to what? 1948-ish? Dude. Right? 1948, Jeez. you're hiding your gay? You're hiding your gayness. No one would notice. Even if they some... would look at it like all pleasant. Even... Oh, no one would. Oh, I got I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, they wouldn't, like, accuse him of being gay. They would just think that's what they do. Oh, okay. Well, why don't we cue the music, and why don't we go through the years with Gus and Elmer? Just a wonderful uh, thing, the Gus and Elmer story. Fresh from back from the war, Gus and Elmer move into a new Levitt home in <laughs> Levittown. One of these wonderful one-bedroom homes, I guess just to save money. <laughs> They're living together. With the Those bill. two are inseparable. <laughs> they seem to do everything together. Splitting the bills. And boy, are they friendly with the neighbors. The neighbors seem to love them. Their house is impeccable. <laughs> and decorated to the nines. If that's even a term back then. To the nines. And no one is raising an eyebrow. Whatsoever. What? This is the first I've ever heard them call curtains window treatments. <laughs> what does that even mean? For Gus and Elma, it means lots of color. <laughs> and a gay atmosphere in the house. You know, happy. <laughs> That's right. Gay men's happy back in the 40s, late 40s. Then they moved to Queens for a while. <laughs> Just seemed to like the name of that town, I guess. But that was short-lived, because they soon moved to San Francisco. Oh, boy. Ah. <laughs> if you're going <laughs> Yes, here they are in Frisco. In the 60s. <laughs> the 60s in Frisco. Oh, damn, what happened to the 50s? Yeah, well, I was hoping you... Uh... <laughs> Wait a minute, they don't leave New York yet. All right, let's go back. All right, let's go back to the 40s music. Look, it's off the cuff. Other, okay. radio, other radio guys do this when they're off the air. We like to do it live. All right, so... Here they are at a dance. They're a couple of wallflowers. They don't seem to be dancing with any girls. <laughs> you want to go into the 50s now? Ah, a new decade the for 50s. Gus and Elma. There you go. Fifties. There you go. Blue moon, 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 oh, blue moon. Blue moon. <laughs> mm, why are they arguing? Who is this moon gentleman? <laughs> are you cheating on me? I don't even know what that means. But they do seem very happy together. <laughs> No, no, Elma, it's a sock hop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the 50s, they sure did enjoy it. But that quickly turned to the turbulent 60s. Ah, yeah, nice. No. Well, I believe now they pack up the old car. <laughs> and head out to and San head Francisco. head out to San Francisco. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Voice Guy, there seems to be a lot more Gus and Elmers in San Francisco. Yes. Any suspicion yet? They sure are getting along with everybody. <laughs> Cleanliness is next to godliness. They seem to visit a bathhouse every day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, flowers in your hair. But what's that in your mouth, Gus? <laughs> Wow. Well, I'm talking about the time. You know, queer means unusual. <laughs> Not what it's going to mean in the future. <laughs> Space travel. <laughs> of course. Any uh, any suspicion yet, Mr. Voice Guy? Suspicion of what? Uh, uh, These two gentlemen get along lovely. Especially with all the folks in San Francisco. Joining the flower generation. The flower people. Yeah. Flower power. And again, they're sharing an apartment. They sure are 
economical. What's up with the tie-dyed shirts, though, Mr. Voice Guy? Oh, they seem to like that. But neither of them, and it might be because of the war, yeah. can seem to hold down a relationship with a woman. <laughs> They're always seen together, out at the same bars. You know, the ramrod around the corner, or the mine shaft. <laughs> Not many ladies at those bars. I'm a little worried they won't settle down <laughs> and make a family for themselves. <laughs> they should go to more dances. Well, and then we move into... The they sure are groovy. We, we, we're going to move into the 70s now, and for some reason, Gus and Elmer have decided to pack their bags and move to New York City. Back to New York in for, the 70s. For Gus and Elmer... Yes, uh, they are getting a bit older, <laughs> and their skin must be drying out because what I see is a lot of lubricant around their apartment <laughs> here in the city. <laughs> Again, trying to find love with the ladies, but no luck at all at this place called Studio 54. <laughs> they sure are dancing a lot. That keeps them in shape. <laughs> And I guess the club is hot because they're shirtless. <laughs> I don't understand. They don't seem to be equestrians, yet they wear chaps. <laughs> and you couldn't wear that on a horse. That could make you chafe a bit. <laughs> <laughs> ah. One of them is suggesting a song. Abba's Dancing Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Through history, with Gus and Elma, there they go, yeah. you can dance, <laughs> having the time of your life, is the word gay